Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Thursday, July the 2nd, 2015. The IDF has increased its presence along the border with Egypt following yesterday's simultaneous suicide attacks by an Islamic State-affiliated group against Egyptian soldiers, which killed dozens, and subsequent battles along the border between the IS affiliate and Egyptian forces. Israel remains on high alert along the border and monitoring the situation closely. Ynet reports that the coordinator of government activities in the territories, IDF Major General Yoav Mordechai, said in a statement today that Israel had clear indications that terror group Hamas was involved in supporting the terrorists who carried out the coordinated suicide attacks in the Sinai yesterday. Meanwhile, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu sent his condolences to Egypt and warned that, quote, terrorism is knocking on our borders. He said Israel was together with Egypt and other states in the region and in the world in the struggle against extreme Islamic terrorism. And Netanyahu reinforced the need to stand united against groups such as ISIS yesterday at a pre-4th of July celebration at the home of the U.S. Ambassador to Israel, Dan Shapiro, in Herzliya where Netanyahu thanked U.S. President Barack Obama and the U.S. Congress for their continued support of Israel. We must stand up to all the forces of militant Islam, those led by Iran, those led by ISIS. The prime minister was among many Israeli officials and politicians and entertainers who attended the event celebrating America's Independence Day. Israel's ambassador to the United Nations, Ron Prasor, sent a letter this week to UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon and to the Security Council, urging them to condemn the recent terror attacks in Israel. Prasor noted the most recent attack, the murder of 25-year-old Malachi Moshe Rosenfeld, who was shot at from a Palestinian vehicle Monday night in the West Bank and died of his injuries on Tuesday. Prasor wrote that in the past few weeks, there has been a dramatic increase in attacks against Israelis. He said, terror is terror, no matter where it takes place or who is harmed. The people of Israel, he said, deserve the same level of concern and empathy as any other people in the world, asking for the UN's condemnation. A man who planned terror attacks against Jewish and Israeli targets in Cyprus has been sentenced. 26-year-old Hussein Bassam Abdallah was arrested back in May by Cypriot authorities who found large amounts of materials used to make explosives in his home in the city of Larnaca. Abdallah later told police he planned to use the explosives on Jewish and Israeli targets on the island, which is a popular tourist spot. Abdallah, who is a dual Lebanese-Canadian citizen, also admitted to being a member of the Lebanon-based terror group Hezbollah. He was sentenced in Cyprus this week to six years in prison. Israel's defense ministry announced some successful upgrades to its Iron Dome missile defense system. Without going into specifics, the ministry said tests had been run to, quote, widen the capacity and improve the performance of the defensive system. The Iron Dome was developed to combat rocket fire from Gaza. Its current interception, preventing rockets from landing in Israel, stands at around 85 percent. And finally today, the man known as the British Schindler, Nicholas Winton, has died. Sir Winton is credited for saving hundreds of Czech children from the Nazis just before the outbreak of World War II. He orchestrated the rescue of 669 mostly Jewish children, placing them on eight trains to Britain through Germany in 1939. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said Winton's moral leadership was an example to all of humanity and that an eternal debt of gratitude was owed to Winton by the state of Israel and by the entire Jewish people. Executive Director of the American Jewish Committee David Harris said at a time when the world desperately needs models of moral courage and human compassion, the legacy of Sir Nicholas Winton ought to be an everlasting example for individuals of goodwill around the world. On Winton's 105th birthday last May, it was announced he was to receive the Czech Republic's highest honor, the Order of the White Lion, for giving Czech children the, quote, greatest possible gift, the chance to live and to be free. Winton died yesterday in England at the age of 106. 
And looking now at our programming for tonight, Thursday, July the 2nd, at 7 o'clock tonight, a one hour in the news on the Supreme Court's decision on same-sex marriage. That's followed by some special programming for the upcoming Independence Day, including at 8 o'clock, a discussion of President George Washington's iconic letter to the Jewish community of Newport, Rhode Island. And at 9, L'Chaim with Dr. Jeffrey Gurak, professor of American Jewish history at Yeshiva University, who describes aspects of the Jewish experience in America. And right after this newscast tonight, a new segment of Thinking Out Loud with Micah Halpern. And that's the JBS News Update for Thursday, July the 2nd, 2015. I will be back with the news update on Monday, July the 6th, wishing you and yours a very happy 4th of July and an early Shabbat Shalom. I'm Tisha Bader.